morning. It's Sunday, I think. It is! I'm right, yay. Can't believe it's February 2nd. The middle of winter. And it's the weekend. I think I already mentioned that. All right, more Fallout 2. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I know I have my overlay on. I just have to do something. It's very exciting. There, done. Yay! Um, oh yeah, so I'll click this off. There, now you can see! It's all pretty! Okay, playtime! Um, I left off yesterday in Fallout... No, Fallout, oh my god. Um... Whatchamacallit, I left off yesterday in San Fran, and I'm going to pick up where I left off. Let me, let me load the game. San Francisco oil tanker. Okay, so, um, I don't know if I did everything here. So I'm just going to, okay, everybody likes me at this point. But I think, to be polite, I'll just walk around without... Hey, Katie! Oh yeah, you're not getting me with that. You're not getting me with that. But if you do quit, feel free to leave me all your expensive things I can sell in the broker. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to get me to cry again about your fake quitting. Felt like I did a 24 hour run of DCUO the other. Uh... Oh, I don't believe you. Oh, by the way, I was on. I went. I, like, I finally created the e, an EU character. Just, just sort of as a place filler. Um, you know, if, if they're short somebody and then I can load up the, the level skip character. And, um, I did the anniversary event because I just wanted to see if the turret dropped for me. But I could not get the raid to load for me. Like, I waited like an hour in the queue and I could not get that, um, raid queue to pop at all. I was so bummed. But... All right, so I finished everything. There's nothing exciting in the toilet room. Yeah, I'm I'm in the oil tanker. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm not going to play that character super hard, but, I mean, I even mentioned in Shout, it's like, is anyone queuing? Because it wouldn't even let me type in LFG. It said, uh, oh, hey, you got to wait, like, an hour before you can type in LFG. I'm like, what? How are you doing there this morning? The Cacromancer. I saved, uh, I saved the girl that was in the... Uh, oh. You know, the lower level. There yesterday. So people on the t tanker like me now. So technically I could... Uh, I have the, the fob or whatever it is. And I could hop, technically just hop over and do the end game, but I'm doing a hundred percent thing, so I want to kind of like um, talk to everybody, do everything. I still have stuff in Broken Hills I want to do. There's still stuff in NCR I want to do. There's still stuff in New Reno I want to do. Still a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I want to do.
How come I didn't get any options to talk? Uh, I gotta fix that. Oh, I'm stuck in the loop again. I'm gonna reload that. If memory serves, I didn't really see much in the line of loop here. I want some information. I learned that the less you know... Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you guys are supposed to like me now. You're supposed to gossip. Oh, yeah. This is the lady with the crazy amount of condoms, which terrifies me. Who needs that many condoms? Oh, the aliens. Yeah, there's the aliens and stuff like that. They're all gooey now. Good day to you, sir. May I help you? I am interested in the Mega Power Fist, but uh, I'm not going to get it right now. Somebody I never got a chance to talk to yesterday was Lopan, and I'd like to speak to Lopan. I gotta be careful how I do this, though, because I ended up uh, talking to somebody in the wrong order, and I screwed up another mission. So, luckily, I am obsessive with doing separate hard saves. So I was able to um, load the hard save just before I spoke to, I think it was Dr. Young, and um, I didn't screw up that uh, option. Okay, so let's see. Okay, the dragons are, this is the dragons thing, and this, I'm trying to find uh, Lopan's gym. Missing it for some reason. No, oh, that's the doctor's place. I don't know if I got the implants yet. I did get the implants. Alright. And can I still speak to him? I can. Alright. Okay, so I didn't tick the wrong people off this time, so I can still speak to him. Um, why can't I find the gym? Or maybe it's right here. Oh yeah, this is, this is Lopan's gym, but where the heck is Lopan? Oh, okay, here we go. I don't know, uh... Yeah, that's a, the... I remember them from the Wanamingo mine first. I wish they had them in later games, because I thought they they were pretty good. The floaters are just so gross. <laughs> Their uh, combat animation and sound is pretty gross. Um, okay, so this is the first time I'm speaking to, uh, Lopan, and I, I don't want to, like, I'm gonna have to choose between the dragon and Lopan, and I already decided that, like, Lopan doesn't want to teach people, and the dragon does want to teach people, so, um, I'm, I'm gonna side with the dragon, but I, I still want to get the full dialogue stuff out. Let's see, 61... All right. There we go. All right. So in case I screw it up, I have a hard save to go back to. They do. They remind like their their the front and their teeth remind me of the um 
I mentioned that yesterday because I, I was thinking of Ripley and the aliens. I've watched those movies so many times. Oh my god. Uh, what do you want? Who are you? I'm Lopan. I'm also the sworn enemy of the dragon. Why he insists on having a sworn enemy is beyond me. I just fight as well as him. And I think he's weak-hearted and allows others to live under his shadow. We're enemies because we have the same fighting style and whoever wins will be the one who carries the tradition. I'm not too bad at hand-to-hand -hand combat myself. Want to give me a try? Huh. Maybe I'll try this. Lopan studies you and then throws a quick punch which smacks you in the nose before you can even react. You're not good enough. Oh. Okay. Can I ask you something else? I want to learn to fight like you. Teach me. Teach you? I don't think so. You look far too self-righteous. Oh, so he's like a bad karma dude, and the dragon is like a good karma dude. What the? Okay, let's go talk to the dragon. Um, well, it's at 80 right now. No, he didn't, he didn't fight me because my karma's too high. Agnostic, formerly known as incomprehensible. Is that your name? The whole name? Wow, that's long. How may I be of assistance? Uh, who was that you were fighting? That was Lopan. He's my sworn enemy and my rival. If he triumphs over me, then I fear for the good of the people. Then you must triumph. Oh, I, have, I see. I have more questions. Uh, teach me how to fight. Then we will begin. Yay! Dragon is very good, but you have learned. Ooh. Training is done for the day. Um, lessons are more than just physical grasshopper. Ponder this and return tomorrow. Oh, okay. Let's see what this guy responds to. Um, if I challenge him. I'm not too bad at hand-to-hand -hand combat myself. Want to give me a try? Hey, Katie's on YouTube now. It's like magic. How did you do those magical things? Being on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. The dragon studies you. I reg regretfully cannot let one uh, of your skill level hurt himself. Oh. Bye, bye. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for 24 hours. See if he'll he'll uh um. Okay, so it's uh 12:47. So I'll wait till noon tomorrow. Then wait an hour. Teach me how to fight. Then we will begin. Woohoo! Looks more like dancing. The 
dragon is very good, but you have learned. Teach me how to fight. Return tomorrow. Okay, let's return tomorrow. Okay, it's 1700. That is 5 p.m., I think. Magical powers. Um, what's, uh, what did I say it was? 5 p.m.? Um, let's just go with this. Okay, so then rest until evening. Hello! Teach me how to fight? Yay! Dance time! Ooh! times he's gonna teach me oh my unarmed is up to 95 now okay so it is uh what 10 10 o'clock no no 2400 is uh mid no wait yeah, 2400 is uh, t midnight, so that's 10. DCO Katie Bear. How many accounts do you have, girl? Uh, I only have two. I have one for a bot, but the bot's not set up because my brain doesn't work and I couldn't figure it out so I use um, Streamlabs cloud bot but I don't know if I, I just use some default things I need somebody with a brain to help me fix the rest you know the the thing like Katie when you know you wanna give somebody a shout out and you type like exclamation d uh mark SO and it refers to their channel to say hey thanks you know give this person a shout out I don't have that set up and I can't figure out how to do it I was trying to figure it out with a friend the other day but I was trying to use cloudbot because it's light on my machine you have a dog what kind of dog do you have gonna teach me again <laughs> dance moves boogie oh yeah we oh, I never heard of that kind before cotton detula I watch a lot of uh oh your French is kind of broken so oh Never heard of it. I've heard of French Bulldogs. Uh, I have learned, apparently. I wish learning was as easy as it is in this game. I only took French as a second language, so... And I don't recognize that I, I recognize the, but I don't recognize it. I don't whether that's a verb or a noun. So I don't know if you're writing things that get me to say naughty words. <laughs> that would be so. That would be funny. That would get me. 
Oh wait, what did he say? It appears that you need mo no more training from me. Oh. Okay, so I'm at 100%. Let's see if I can challenge Lopan. I have not heard of that breed before. Didn't I tell you to talk to the dragon about your moral qualms? He'll hold your hand. I won't. Now leave. I wish to challenge you. Great. I hope you have a grave ready. Did the dragon send you? No, I'm doing this because I think you're scum. Good. At least you're your own master. Are you tough enough to fight without weapons or armor? Attack now with armor and weapons. Oh, okay. French col colony of Madagascar. Learn something new every day. Enter the ring, remove armor and weapons, and fight hand to hand. Okay, let's try it uh, without me. Ooh, I'm all bare chested. Well, that started out well. Should have took some buff out. I think you hit my liver. Well, that's what I was going for. I wanted to hit your liver. Oops. Uh oh. Good thing I have a save. The darkness of the Okay. That was a one uh variation. Being a hundred percenter, I like to explore all my options. Oh yeah, handicapped wa want to give me a try? Oh really? Oh yeah, when I take my armor and stuff off, I'm only at, um... Or strength. Ryan! 
Ian, how are you? Oh, you got to watch yesterday's on Twitch early this morning. Great. You wouldn't believe what I was doing this morning. Well, it's, th it's still this morning, but I was... I had adventures in the basement. Um, whatchamacallit? How's your weekend going so far? I, I still didn't get any steak yet. Had a hamburger the other day, though. Okay, so I'm gonna experiment. Beat him up in the ring. doesn't. I've been posting pictures on my Twitter. I'm eventually going to take some video to figure out, uh, to show how awkward it is. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2. I get them confused, but, uh, I have Knights of the Old Republic. There's a gamer buddy of mine who did a mod for it. I don't know if it's for two or the first one, but um, I was going to play it with his mod. Um, the modder's name for the one that I'm talking about is Hasset Hunter, and his his he put his he put the mod on uh, Steam Workshop, so it's worth checking out because he fixed a lot of the bugs and um, all that sort of stuff. Can I get over to him? Ah, uh, really? Make him use up all his action points. Oh, crap. I'm not sure what that means. Wow, one, 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 two, three, four, five, six. He's got 39 hit points left out of 100. One, two, three, four. For, I can't get to him, so I'm going to mess with him and make him use up action points. Whoa! 
Oh, cheating now, dude. Scumbag. I think I chose the right side. He's got 16 hit points left. Oh, nine hit points, that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. RNG, please give me the RNG. He's two hit points. One hit point. I gain 2,000 experience points and five karma. You have beaten Lopan in Mortal Kombat. For some reason, the sun seems a little brighter today. Lopan was the last great leader. Our leader stricken. He was a jerk. Glad I cheered all those people up. Aww, I can't even loot his body? That's no fun. Heard this morning on yesterday's that you might do affiliate- Well, I'll probably eventually do it, but I just feel like I need more experience streaming. Like, I don't even have my bot and everything set up properly. Um... My computer's pretty old, um, and, um, stuff like that. So I'm limited on what I can do. What's the other thing? Oh, yeah, and then the big factor on committing to making a commitment to doing affiliate or something like that is making sure that my health is stable enough that I don't get into a situation where I have, like, an extended period of illness. Like, ha what happened in... 2018 and stuff like um I want to make sure everything's all, all my ducks are in a row before I do something like that I mean I, I got offered affiliate ages ago I I forgot the date. I thought it was 2018 or something. I posted the picture of the email that I, um, um, in my Discord. So. Uh, I've gained 25 karma. I've gained 15 karma. Why didn't you just write 40 karma? I gained 3,000 experience points. Even though... You did not know... Oh, wait. Even though you did not know, you have helped our cause by removing Lopan. You have our thanks. Um, you're welcome. Can I ask you a question? Can you teach me how to fight? It appears that you need no more training from me. Woohoo! Yay for buff out! I, a few days have passed. I wonder if these guys um, have gotten more money. They did get more money. Ooh, my favorite. Yeah, 
I'd also like to make sure, you know, um, I don't know, I posted a, I pinned a tweet uh, to my Twitter explaining the holdup of certain projects. I'd like to get all those projects done first, too, before starting anything new. Um, like, you know, the Fallout 2 one, uh, I still have Dungeon Keeper to do. And I was also working on uh, DCUO um, mentor missions. Like I was doing um, uh, a thingy where you, you um, it, it was, it's basically geared towards new players. So if they, when they're choosing their mentor, this is what the mentor missions will be like, you know, from the tutorial from level one to 30 sort of thing. And I wanted to get that done. And I also wanted to do solo challenges with each of the power types so people kind of have a general idea so they can just get all the beats in the solo challenges in one go. Because I remember when I first started out playing that game, uh, oh, I was I was terrible. And um, now, I'm, now I'm just a little bit better. <laughs> uh, so anyways, but... Um, but I didn't understand a lot of the things about feats and stuff, and that's just more of, more or less a little bit of a guide introduction to for new people. I'd like to finish that, because I started it and I'd like to finish it. Oh, what's... Oh, he's got uh, those books. What is my... Um... Oh, my outdoorsman's already at 92. So the books wouldn't really help me too much at this. Hey, Waterall. How's your morning? I was... Uh... Whatchamacallit... I did my uh, thingies last night, my stabilizers on all my, you know, couple of accounts. Oh, and then I um, I went over to the EU character, and then I um, I wanted to see if uh, uh, you know the anniversary turret would drop for for that character. And I did all the solo things, so I could have some Quay Bombs. And then I queued for the Centennial Collapse. I waited like an hour in in the queue just standing there. It, it, it did, the queue did pop once, but then someone declined and I was like, oh my... Explicitive. Um, like, I was just like, oh my god. Anyways, I got tired of waiting and then left. It sucked. There was something I was gonna get. What was it? Um, well, I want 100% this. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff in Broken Hills that I haven't done. I haven't even really touched on Nurino at all. You know, because usually in past playthroughs of Nurino, I would wipe out all the families. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, so, and then, um, whatchamacallit, and then, I don't know if I finished everything in... And Sierra yet, but I have finished everything up north. Uh, took care of the raiders. Ooh, I have a whole bunch of raider stuff to pick up. Yeah, yeah, I haven't done that stuff. Um, answer.
I want to get rid of this uh, thing. Oh, are you? I was downstairs like early this morning doing my due diligence. Uh, I don't know if you saw the new pictures I posted, but I found out what the chewing noise was. Because I have like steel wool s stuffed right up to the underneath the around the pipe. Then I hot glued more steel wool right around that. And I was like, well, what the hell are they, you know, could they possibly be chewing? Because I could still hear chewing in that corner. Because from looking at it, it's like I couldn't see anything. And then, um, and that corner is actually really, really hard to squeeze into. And I had to stick my arm in this dark hole, which I figured I was going to get bit to get a picture. It's a little bit blurry because uh, it's pitch black in that corner. And I, the, the flash from the camera lets me see what's going on. So I finally, uh, it, it took about four, five pictures before I could actually get one that was, that I could figure out what I was looking at. And I was like, oh my god, they're chewing, they chewed through the aluminum tape, through the foam. And I could hear them loud as day this morning, and I was like... Curse, curse, curse. Anyways, I went down. I mean, if you, if, if I, if I manage to get some video it's going to be hard to get video because i i have to ho hold a camera plus hold a flashlight to actually get it to show up properly but um it's just the top of the foundation and it's a dark dark area you haven't seen them yet yeah see i i have not i've seen dead ones <laughs> But there's been no dead ones lately, and so that's my concern. They're, they've uh, learned to avoid the traps. I've sprinkled, air, like I sprinkled um, baking soda all along their walkway, because that's not good for them. And there's pets in the building, so I'm very careful as to what I put. Um, oh, you haven't seen the pictures yet. Well, actually, like, I haven't actually seen them. I, I've, I can hear them. I've seen all the other ones. Hey, Bob, how are you this morning? I took a little break from social media for a while, so I haven't been around as much. I'm going to have to rest in game. Um, how much money does he have left? I think I pretty much cleared him out. You know, Bob, this is Twitch chat. You be got to be careful about, you know, what's up, up. <laughs> um, whatchamacallit, um... I'm never quite awake. <laughs> That's my excuse. Although, um, anyone who's familiar here knows I have uh, a condition that triggers low blood pressure issues for me. So anyways, now I've learned that I just take, I, I actually have a prescription for sodium pills, like salt pills. So I, uh, it, and I, I've been doing them this weekend since ba last weekend was pretty bad. So I, um, I just uh, pop a, s a salt pill and down a bunch of water. It helps keep my head a bit clearer. Oh yeah, that's right. You are not an innuendo guy. I'm a terrible person, Bob. That's why. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, I, I grew up in a naughty Irish family. What was my mother laughing at yesterday that I was talking about? Oh, water. Remember I was talking to you the other day 
Oh, by the way, people, if you guys, you should check out Bob if you really like Skyrim and those so sorts of games. Bob does uh, a lot of RPG stuff, which is great. You should check him out. You waste a lot of uh, paper. Yes, yes, I do. I'm terrible that way. Trees run from me. Oh yeah, so I was I, water all. I was telling um, my my mother about that T-shirt idea, and I figured she was not gonna go for you know a farting banana. And here she is hysterically laughing on the phone. And I'm like, she goes, oh, you should tell your sister that. I'm like, okay. I have a family walking around with a bunch of farting bananas. Uh, I'm looking for weaponry. Actually, I'm looking for money as opposed to weaponry. <laughs> oh, that's that one. Yeah, but I was surprised, uh, you know, I was surprised my mother went for it because like, she's like, you know, She's a little better behaved than I am. She's always the one saying, stop that or behave and all that sort of thing. Exactly. Perfect. Yay, I got rid of more stuff. I love shopping. Can you guys stop being depressed? You're you're ruining my buzz. Okay, so this I don't have any um ammo for this now and I need ammo. Oh, I should go check to see if that guy has ammo. <laughs> Ooh. You guys got to stop quitting DC. It's naughty. Hey, cool. Tutti fruity. to keep her. Oh, is this my uh, ammo for the... I don't need the needler. Oh, I might as well get rid of this too. Yeah, does, don't they do maintenance at, like, uh... They should have done maintenance 45 minutes ago. Or maintenance should have started 45 minutes ago. Oh, great. Okay, I need a uh, Goss Rifle ammo, mister. Oh, 
Oh, they changed the the reset or the maintenance time? Did they move it back to what it was before? Because that'd be great. What the heck? Oh, whoa, Vindicator. Ooh, that looks nastier than the Gatling laser. Well, these guys don't have the uh, ammo I'm looking for. I watched more Mandalorian last night. Baby Yoda's still cute. Isn't um, John doing Borderlands 3 today? When's the Borderlands 3 thing supposed to do? Is that this weekend? More play, Tutti Fuji. Oh, that was last night. Oh. A strange combination but there's a whole bunch of those laser pistols and stuff that drop in uh, New Reno so I'm not gonna bother there yes they are aggressive and I don't know why they're attracted to my corner like honestly there's nothing in my storage that deems this sort of attention and it's they're all up um like they can't get to the floor and stuff well i think they're they're possessed by evil i think they're spawns of satan mice and they're Freaking smart. Oh my god. You try one sort of method to, uh, you know, cut down their numbers. Within two days, they've learned that that's bad. So then you try another way. All right. Bring me back a burger, burger water. Thank ya. And bring Katie back something too. The guys up here don't really have much to sell, do they? I could just stock up on some uh, stim packs though. Still frightened of this lady that um I still haven't uh Brian if you're still there I still haven't beaten Francis Oh my god they're so smart So I was looking at Home Depot and uh you know now management has known about this problem since the middle of last year I only discovered this issue uh, this month. So, if you know how quickly they breed, do the math. And they started at the other end of the building. Uh, 
Uh, from what I read, uh, one female can give birth to 10 to 14, and within 10 days, they are mature enough to start breeding again. Like, the babies are mature enough to breed. So, holy crap! I haven't had anything in my apartment. Yeah, that would be great, Bob, but the uh, owner basically uh, has all those people in his pocket. And there's a housing shortage. So I'd be out in the street in the middle of winter. And everyone else in the building knows it's a problem, and they're scared to speak up too because they don't want to wind up in the street either. I had the health inspector here, and the health inspector plays hockey with the owner. And when I was telling my bro my during the holidays, I was telling my siblings, my brother said, that guy's got you over a barrel. Basically, I'm screwed. So, I'm on disability and I'm spending grocery money on trying to keep these guys from coming up into my apartment. And I haven't had any in my apartment because I've been just so diligent at keeping them down there. If you can tell by the pictures, this is like I got steel wool stuck everywhere except up their butts. But anyways... I've tried everything that they've recommended on the internet, that's all I can say, and I, it, I also tried everything that everyone else suggested. And, and, you know, some things have worked. Uh, the, uh, I'd have to say the, uh, um, Potato flakes worked for a couple of days, and then they learned that that's not good. Buff out power armor and still getting ball gags from Francis? Yes, sir! <laughs> I wear my shame proudly. Yeah, so as I was looking at online... Oh yeah, by the way, pure peppermint oil doesn't work. It's the middle of winter. They're not not—they're not going to be driven out of here by the smell. So I tried peppermint oil. It made the entire basement smell pretty. You know, you could walk in and then 50 feet from, you know, the entrance of the... Well, I walk into, walk into the basement... 50 feet from a locker, all I could smell for it was peppermint, so, you know. It was good and strong. Didn't deter them, though. Um, ammonia, actually. I put a tin of ammonia out one time, and, and that deterred them for a few days, but then they realized that there was no threat, and now they don't care that that, that's, that smells there. Um, anyways... Home, Home Depot has this uh, a, a live trap thing um, that can hold up to 30. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to get something like that. Oh, that is Gorus. That is a Deathclaw. <laughs> Something that they don't bother, uh, they didn't bother carrying on about in the newer fallouts was the fact that there was, uh, experimentation done on Death Claws, and so there is a race of them. In Fallout 2, they are living peacefully, uh, in Vault, uh, Vault 13. And one of them joined me on my travels.
much of this? 400. And in combat, the shroud comes off. Or the cloak comes off. I could give you an example. Let's see. I'll reload it. Wait a sec. I'll put my... Uh... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. There. You can see him... Uh... Oh, actually, that's... Let me just uh, get out in the open. Myron, stop your complaining. Oh, can't really see him there either. <laughs> Why, Myron, are you following me? So that is a Deathclaw named Gorus. He speaks too. But... But they don't have a talking head for him. Yeah, I haven't wiped out all of Navarro yet either. I think I'll go to um, Nurino. They shouldn't give me too much trouble, and uh, it's been a few days, so I can't really. It's been a few streams since I was talked to everybody in uh, what you call it. Let's just rest till healed. Can't remember who I was going to side with. Oh, and I, I still haven't wiped out the military base. I, I did visit the military base, but I kind of got beaten up a little so uh, I uh, experimented I used the mutagenic serum from NCR on one of the mu super mutants there because I didn't want to use it on a good super mutant so I used used it on the one at the military base and then um... oh wait sorry Bob That's the cloud bot. I have it on default settings, but I'll read that out for you. In Fallout 3, there was evidence of experimentation when you do this quest line associated with the guys who do the patriotic radio station, the guy claiming to be president. Um, I know you didn't use foul language. Just ignore the bot, Bob. Um, there's no, no nothing in there. I'll just see if I can... Uh, Oh no, can I repay copy and paste that? Yeah, I don't know why the bot just sec. I'm trying to do something here. Let's see. So Bob type this. Oh wait, I'll do it in the uh I gotta do it in multi chat. Yeah, so Bob typed that, and obviously, you know, there's no foul language there, so anyways. Um, there were tanks with de death claws. Yep, 
Yeah. Yeah, but the Death Claws, they were in cages. They they didn't talk or anything. The all the uh I'll give you an example cuz I was just about to leave San Francisco anyways. I'll show you what I mean. Um So if I go down here, oh crap. No, I don't want to meet any aliens. So, um, I'm gonna pocket my weapon here. So, uh, hello my friend, you have saved the pack, we thank you. Forgive, I no speak well, I tried to talk to you. Oh, who are you? I, Thurn, who are you? It's a pleasure to meet you, Thurn, I'm no one. What do you want? Oh. What do you, uh, just passing the time. Yeah, so this was totally left out of, uh, any of the newer... I mean, it would have been a great way to continue it on. So there's humans and death claws living together. Good day to you. It, you again? What do you want? Oh, just drop by to say hello. Uh, this is the hatchery. Pack mother inside, eggs inside, I guard, I'll pack guard. I'd like to speak to the mother. You wait, I ask mother. Okay. Mother says she talked to you, blah blah blah. So here's the mother. So you don't get that opportunity, um... Hello again, it's good to see you, what can I help you with? Just saying hi, I'll go be going now. So they, uh, they left that out in the newer ones. They're, uh... All the death claws in the new fallouts are just, you know, vicious monsters. Or they have, like, uh... What did they put on them in Fallout 3? Some sort of, like, uh mind control thing like a shock collar sort of thing to make them do whatever and then uh, humans live here on this floor so whenever um People are kind of getting bent out of shape about, um, or when the people who haven't played Fallout 1 or 2 make fun of the people who have played Fallout 1 and 2. That's the, uh, that's the storyline stuff that we know is missing. Um, and stuff like that, so. You know, there's a lot of details that are left out. Ooh, remnants of the Master's army. Watch me get annihilated. Ow. Oh, I forgot. I put my weapon away. Oh, well. I'll use this one for now. Oh, a mini- Oh, great, he's got a missile launcher! Gorus was hit for 58 points? Ow. Floaters are so gross! I 
I don't expect to win this. blow himself up. That was funny. Yeah, the set exactly. It is gross. It sounds like spit sucks. Spit suck. <laughs> it's creepy. Collateral damage. That was it's funny. There, he's a bit better now. It was funny. Nice shot, Cassidy. 94 hit points he got him for. Well, he didn't sever me in half yet. That's a bonus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Seven, yeah. Well, that was lucky. Me like that. I still prefer the plasma rifle though, because it le it leaves that goo pile. I like the goo pile. It was the magic of RNG. Wow, I really didn't think I was going to win that. my weight capacity? I wonder why. Yeah? You're not at your weight capacity. You can have that and that.
That's all he had. What's wow. up? Wow. Now for the missile launcher. Well, I hope they think about what they've done. I wonder, will it let me stay here? Uh... Oh. Wow. That wasn't much healing. Oh wait, how am I for, uh... 60%. That's fine. No thanks. Hello. Just coming in to loot. What's wow? Yeah, it is a fun game. It's I love the writing. All right, New Reno. Oops. It's nighttime. Oh. Morning. <laughs> oh, I should have snuck in that other guy's place and stole the stuff in the back room. Oh no, I can do that now. Maybe. You got in stock. I wanted money. Oh well. Uh, look at good memories of this chapel. I got a divorce there. Thank you. I like my party. I will be uh, retiring Goris eventually and picking up Marcus, but well, I've been having a little bit of a problem with Francis and a ball gag. So until I can beat him in an arm wrestle, I'm not going to pick up Marcus. I have to win the arm wrestling. I don't like have to, but like for my self-esteem, I have to because, you know. You sell drugs here in the store? I'll just take everything. Oh, I only need 2300. Sell that. And the noodles. Oh, great. Now I'm thinking about food again. Yum, yum. Oh, I want to hold on to them. Alright, so... Turf... Turf that. Turf that.
Did I pass the... Did I pass my coinage? I can't do math, so... Don't be shocked. Not a math person. I have to guesstimate. Bye bye. I'm gonna go back to my car, get more stuff. Oh no, wait. Cassidy's got the stuff. Yeah. I know. I I'm on a budget. Oh no, he won't be able to afford that. <laughs> I'm not giving my hard earned pennies. I'm a bit OCD about that. Give me my money back. Ooh, I didn't realize it was that much. Oh. Oh. I'll take that. Oh yeah, I was gonna stay here for a bit, wasn't I? Oh, you smell much better too, Waterall. Where's my, where's my burger? <laughs> oh, thank you. Cause I can never, I can never get, uh, treat myself to fast food on the weekends. So I'm going to spend some time in Nurino. I'm going to go around and talk to a bunch of people and stuff. I think I should unload the laser rifle and stuff though. Because I haven't really done anything here. Well, except... Uh... Oh, thanks, Bob. I haven't done anything here... Except I got my car back because I got my car stolen. I so I got my car back, and then I also delivered the briefcase to Bishop, and that is all that I got done. I do not need that many in my inventory. Just need one. So, let's see who I can and can't talk to yet. I think this guy just asks. Yeah, nothing today. How do you go to the bathroom with that thing on? Good question. 
I'll come out with a line of gaming diapers and I'll be able to answer it. I am uh, doing a good karma run and I'm basically 100%ing it. You done walking in the wrong place, try will get. What's behind the door? Sarcastic. Behind the door? That door right there? Why, that's Mr. Salvatore's room. Now beat it. Yeah. I'm gonna have it, the de it decorated with little tiny, you know, images of my uh, brain on it. You know, from my MRI. Uh, I want to see Mr. Salvatore. I want a job. Look, maybe you ain't heard, Tribal, but this is Salvatore's place. My job is to make sure the boss ain't bothered by yapping dogs like you. Now run back to your tribe and cook up one of your people for dinner. <gasps> Terrible. I said I want to see Mr. Salvatore. I warned you. I don't know what that word is. It, it seems like it's... It sounds like, um, oh my, yeah. Couldn't think of anything. My brain farted. Okay, Mason suddenly pauses, listening to something that you can't hear. After a moment, his teeth clank. Mitch Salvatore says, you may come in. No one. Thanks, Atalio. Uh, be sure uh, to mention your manners to Mr. Salvatore. Mason stops you, look, and leans in and lowers his voice. You know, because I am streaming on YouTube as well, so, you know, they, uh, they don't like those naughty words. Some grand rules, boy. Don't waste Mr. Salvatore's time and don't give him any bananas or you'll answer to me. Understood. Mason stops you again. I ain't done yet. You show him respect. You call him Mr. Salvatore at all times and when he talks... You close your mouth and listen. Understand? No. Okay, this is a new section, so I want to make sure that I have a nice, clean, hard save that I can go back to in case I bork it. I'll do this one. Louis Salvatore. The elderly man looks up at you. His face is gaunt and covered with liver spots. Mm. Sounds lovely. He's holding up a breathing mask, which is connected to an oxygen tank by his side. Wow, well, what do you want from me? I have information for you, Mr. Salvatore. Mr. Salvatore, you have a reputation for strength and fairness. I want to work for you. Wait a sec, I want to see what the information is. He takes a deep breath from his mask, then shakes his head. You have nothing that I need to know, no one. Now, what do you want from me? Um, I don't recall introducing myself. How do you know my name? Looks at you silently for a minute. He might be either amused at your question or irritated. It's hard to tell. Again, no one. What do you want from me? Mr. Salvatore, you have a reputation for strength and fairness. I want to work for you. Takes another deep breath from his mask, then gives a slight smile. Of course, but I require a token of your good faith. A sample of your willingness to work for me. What do you want me to do, Mr. S? Takes a deep breath from his oxygen mask. <gasps> I need one of those just to keep repeating that sentence. There is a man who has used his skill with cards to rob me. The, son, the sum is trivial. The insult is not. I want him killed and the money he stole returned. 
Oh. Who is this thief? Mason will have the details. Nods at the exit. Go now. Thank you, Mr. Salvatore. I'll go ask Mason. I better quick save because he might get angry that I'm going to be about to loot his stuff. Oops! It just fell in my pocket! Come on, guys. Don't get so close to me. I know we've bonded and everything, but I still need personal space. Oh, look. An oxygen tank. He doesn't need that. I bet you. Let's see. The it can be locked, so technically it's. Oh, it's open. All right. Bye bye. Where's Mason? Oh wait, Mason's up here. Look at that Katie person using all those fancy emotes on two different platforms. About time he showed up, boy. This bum that stole Mr. Salvatore stole from Mr. Salvatore. His name's Lloyd. Mr. Salvatore wants him dead, and that money he stole back. When you've done the job, report back to me, understand? Think you can handle that? Why aren't you tracking down Lloyd? I've been keeping my eyes open, but Lloyd's been pretty careful about keeping out out of sight from Salvatore's eyes. Anyways, I'm better betting the boss figures you might have better luck being new in town. I had some other uh Okay, now I'm really confused, but Success at confusing me, Katie. 10 out of 10. Eyes narrow, of course. If you're implying I ain't doing my job, then you can leave a discussion... Wait. Then you and I can have a discussion up close and personal right now. Mr. Salvatore ain't gonna ask what happened to your sorry buttocks. I'm not employing that you aren't doing your job, Splinter. Interesting name. Um, I'm telling you. <laughs> I was just curious. I had some other questions. Where can I find Lloyd? He's been laying low, so tracking him down is going to be your job. Best bet. You know, this guy has the attitude of my, my the building manager. Uh, check some of the bars along Virgin Street. Lloyd might be running along a hustle there. Yes, thank you for messing with my brain. I'll have to go out and get, like, sugar or something. Now I want a chocolate bar. One of those Hershey bars with almonds in it. They're good. Um, uh, had some questions. Okay, so what did he say? I gotta make a mental note of this, because, uh, um, or sh I should write this down. Yeah, I probably should write this down. Uh, check some of the bars along Virgin Street. Virgin Street. Is that where the virgins hang out? Okay, what does Lloyd look like? Lloyd, hell, he's about average height, white, brown hair. White, brown hair. Okay. Last I saw him, he had a tan shirt, okay. And a dark brown scarf. He probably ain't changed his clothes since I saw him last. Okay, so... 
So basically, he's got a lot of brown. Brown clothes. Somebody in brown. How much did he steal? About a thousand chips. Now look, that ain't nothing to Mr. Salvatore, but he's got this policy with regards to people who say anything, who take anything from him. If I were you, I'd remember that. Mr. Salvatore gonna want every chip back. Who was the dealer at the table Lloyd won the money from? Her name's Nikki. She's downstairs in the back room. Mason stares off into the distance. Man, she does have a perfect... mind. Yeah, he said mind. That's all I need to know. Thanks, Mason. You're a wonderful human being. It's been lovely talking to you. You, Nikki? I'm whoever he... Oh, God. I'm whoever you want me to be, sweetheart. Now, what... Now, are you gonna place a bet? <laughs> I'm betting you know where Pretty Boy Lloyd is. Yeah, I'm betting you and Pretty Boy Lloyd were both stealing money from Mr. Salvatore. Hard to believe you didn't notice him cheating all those times. Then that's a bet you'd lose, sweetheart. I ain't seen that bum since he pulled that swindle on Mr. Salvatore. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time. So, for the benefit of the hearing impaired, where's Lloyd? Pretty suspicious you didn't notice him cheating all those times. You have to be pretty blind or bribed. I think I quick save before this, because this could get ugly. She might yell to the bouncer. This person's being mean. Look, like I said, I don't know where he is, but maybe I heard he used to have a room at the Desperado. You might find something there. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta get back to work. Nikki, I know you helped Lloyd cheat. Tell me where Lloyd is, and I'll give you half of his take, 500 chips. You talk smooth, but so do snakes. Maybe I know where Lloyd is, maybe I don't. You got 500 chips? Could be that Lloyd still has my take, and I ain't sure he's gonna give it to me. So, could be that. For 500 chips, I could tell you where he's, his, uh, lying, um... Where his lying ass is hanging out. That's a pretty steep price for a whole bunch of maybes and coulds. I can find them on my own. I'm not giving them. You're such a nice example of what a woman should not be. Where's the Desperado? I think it's over here. It's on a virginal street. Looking for some virgins. There's the Desperado. Wee! I still want to figure out. Oh no, no, not. Oh, it's not this one. It's another one. What do we have here? Who are you? What are you doing down here? You Lloyd? Pretty boy Lloyd? Stiffens. Maybe. Who are you? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Dispense with the... 
B.S. Lloyd. I'm here for the money you stole from Mr. Salvatore. Look, Lloyd, hand over the cash and I might forget I ever saw you until you're far away from here. Lloyd, Mr. Salvatore sent me here to get his money back and have me make an example of you. It doesn't need to be that way if the two of us can come to an arrangement. Hmm, an arrangement, you say? All right, all right. What is it you want? I'll get you out of town for half of the money that you won from Mr. Salvatore, Lloyd. I'll get you out of town in exchange for all the money you won from Mr. Salvatore, Lloyd. Ah, uh, never mind. Pretend to leave, hide, then follow him. Ooh. Ah, uh, never mind. I don't want anything. Get out of here before I change my mind. I think I quick save, didn't I? Yeah, I did quick save. Okay, so I can I can redo this to explore the other options. Ooh. Oh crap! I left the shovel in the car after a long hike you reach the Golgotha foothills once there Lloyd leads you to one of the graves here we are Woo, the money's in the grave here dig it up Lloyd uh, there's two, t two types of people in this world Lloyd those with loaded guns and those who dig Lloyd mumbles under his breath and proceeds to dig carefully. Less than a minute later, wow, he's a fast digger. He pulls out a landmine from beneath the dirt and sets it aside. He shrugs sheepishly. Nice one, Lloyd. Keep digging. Let's see what else is under there. A half an hour later, Lloyd has dug away dug away enough dirt to reveal a small manhole cover set into the ground. You're certain you wouldn't have found it if Lloyd hadn't told you about it. Lloyd takes a deep breath and wipes his forehead. Old fallout shelter. Well, let me open this up and we'll get down to business. The manhole cover opens up with a rusty shriek revealing a dark hole leading downwards. Get in there, Lloyd. Lloyd frowns, thinks about making a comment, then shrugs and climbs down to the, into the manhole cover. Well, he would just climb down into the manhole, not the cover. Hey, Lloyd! Catch! Drop the landmine down the hole. <laughs> I'm coming down after you, Lloyd. Karma? Really? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, but I won't lose karma if my uh, party members kill him. <laughs>
I didn't lose karma. I didn't kill him. Nah, 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 nah. Thousand buckers. Some might think I'm exploiting uh, the game using that method, and you'd be right. <laughs> well, my karma's fine. Poor Lloyd. Didn't have a very good quality of life anyways. Golgotha is such a lovely place. There's some other graves here. If I had to shovel... Oh, I have a shovel. I might get the grave digger perk if I do this, though. I lost five karma! <laughs> Oh, I didn't get the grave decker perk. Maybe I only get it if I do this in the den. Okay, I'm just doing this for science. Oh, it's empty. There's more over here. I want to. I just. Uh, I'm going to reload, but I want to just see what's in them. I'm Snoopy. A flower. Morning star mind scrap and mirrored sunglasses. Oh, the evil science kid with the good, uh, good karma. Um, intimidation and uh, high science. I 
I had uh, Myron um, as a party member earlier. Wait a sec. That does nothing? What? What the? Oh my god, cool! That was worth it. Just pop into Reno for a little drinking and whoring the damn smoothies jammy in a grave. Okay. Load. Okay, so I lose karma of all those other ones, but this one... Where am I? Oh, there I am. Oh, this gray smells. Oh, well, better keep digging. What the? About freaking time. Could you dig any slower, idiot? <laughs> Out of my way, smoothie. Goodbye. Okay, so I'll just... I want to be nosy and check these ones, too. But uh, there probably won't be any more, like, little surprise things. But I guess if you were, like, uh, if you wanted to lose a bunch of karma and change the... change the way your uh, character was set up, this would be a good way to do it by unearthing a bunch of graves. Curiosity satisfied. Okay, so I got the money back. Oh, actually, I'll just leave that out. Um, got the money back, so I might as well go back and talk to Mr. S. I left Myron in uh, San Francisco. I, uh, go back and visit him every now and again for stim packs. Okay, now Mason wanted me to talk to him first. I want to see what happens if I don't talk to him first. Found Lloyd yet? Yeah, I found Lloyd. Nod's frowning slightly. Well, all right then. Go tell Mr. Salvor Salvatore what you found. Oh, really? Is that what I should do? Thanks, Mason. Without you, I wouldn't have known how to get from place to place. Sheesh. Idiot. That 
That guy's got the biggest... Actually, he's just probably really constipated. He just probably needs some fiber. Uh, I'm not... T Dude, just... I'm getting out of breath just thinking about how uh, this guy needs to breathe. Holy crap. Have you disposed of the thief? Yes, I made an example of him, Mr. Salvatore. Puts his fingers together and the money. Has it been recovered? <laughs> no, Mr. Salvatore. Lloyd already spent the money. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Shall I keep the money? I want to see what happens if I keep the money. Your instructions were to recover the money he stole. You have not done this? Well, you see, I don't... Uh... Studies you for a fraction of a second and disgust and makes a strange motion to his hand instantly alarm rings throughout the casino. Uh, please tell me that was room service. <laughs> uh, that went well. Yes, Mr. Salvatore. I have resolved the Lloyd situation. I gained 500 experience points. Salvatore nods as you give him the money, but he holds up his hands halfway through the transaction. The remaining half is yours. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Salvatore. Mr. Salvatore oh, takes another breath from his mask. <gasps> I have another matter that requires your attention. I am interested in the job, Mr. Salvatore. What do you want me to do? A constituent in my district has not paid me tribute for the services I provide. Collect it. If he objects, inform him you are my representative in this matter. Talk to Mason for the details. Oh, great, I got to talk to Mason again. Yes, Mr. Salvatore, I'll go see him. <clears throat> All white, then. You're gonna be one man collection agency. Drills simple. Visit Renesco's pharmacy on Commercial Row, collect the tribute, a thousand chips, then bring it back to me here. All right, anything else? Don't let Gramps give you any BS. If he does, tell him you work for Mr. Salvatore. That should clear up any misunderstandings you got. You got it? Got that? Got it. Now stand back and let me get to work. Mason. You and... You and, uh... Myron should become friends. Go. He really enjoyed my story about Arroyo. I've come to collect Mr. Salvatore's tribute. Then you wasted a trip. I paid Mr. Salvatore his tribute two weeks ago, as per the schedule. I don't know who you are or what you think you're d doing, but you aren't getting one red chip from me. Git! Look, Gramps, stop giving me a hard time. Cough up the chips or you'd be coughing up something else I am Mr. Salvatore's representative you will give me the tribute I've asked for and you will do so now 
Actually, I'm going to check with Mr. Salvatore about the schedule, then I'll be back. Oh no, Mr. Salvatore would probably be cranky. But for science, I better do that. Oh, I already checked. He said it was on time. <laughs> okay, I actually like buying stuff from, from Renesco, so if I tick him off, I don't want to lose him as a... As a vendor. I don't like losing my vendors. So, because, you know, they have money and un I can unload stuff. Anyways, I'll try this one. I don't know who yawned. Quiet over there. Um, lose your hearing, boy. I said I paid the tribute already two weeks ago. If you were really from Salvatore, you would know that. Now get... You are the one who lost your hearing. I am Mr. Salvatore's representative, and you will pay the tribute. Prove your... From Salvatore, I'll consider giving you the chips, else you aren't getting diddly. I'll check with Mr. Salvatore about the tribute, and I'll get back. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. I think I know what he wants to see. But I'll let it be a surprise. Because I think I sold all of them. Renesco's giving me potatoes. He says he gave two weeks ago and he shouldn't have to pay for another month. Alright, that does it. You cross the line. Now you're gonna get hurt. What? You're gonna... What? What? No, you're the one who's gonna get... Good grief! This guy's got the worst PMS I've ever met. I don't like Mason. He doesn't eat enough fiber. Oh wait, did I? Okay, wait a sec. Mason's such a crab. Okay, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Um... I don't think I have one in my inventory. Yeah? What you be need? Oh, I bet you I have one in San Francisco. In case you're thinking, why don't you just finish it and just give them the money? Well, I'm remembering something. I want to make sure that I'm remembering it the right way, so... It'll be a win from my brain if I if I actually recall this memory right. It'll be worth it for me. Ooh, Morton brother. Yes, please.
Oh, she's got a nasty one. Wait, cancel. Looks like a laser rifle or a flamethrower. I thought I killed all the... those brothers. Oh, wait. Are they cloning them now? She just got really close to me, which tells me she's probably got a flamethrower. Okay, that must have hurt a little. Did that tickle? I ganked five karma! Go get him, Selig. Did I what? Oh crap, I hit I hit Cassidy. You don't run off. I need to loot your body. What? What? Rude. Oh, great. I missed. Cassidy didn't kill me. Figured she did. There, take the O2 tank. Enjoy! Oh, I bet you Cassidy probably is getting low on shotgun shells now. I checked that guy, right? Okay. Uh, oh! That, yeah, okay. And then, wasn't there somebody else over there that... Ooh! I thought there was a body over here. Where was I imagining that? Oh no, it was that woman there. Oh, okay. Totally understand now. Uh, Cassidy. What's up? Nothing. Uh, yeah, just hold that stuff for me. How are you for ammo, anyway? You're good. You're good. I wonder if he'll switch to that new thing I gave him. Oh. Still goes back to that.
Alrighty then. Yeah, quick save here. Uh, how am I for fuel? 53. Okay, bye, weird people. Shouldn't have picked a fight with me. Oh, wait, I forgot to heal. No, I don't want to talk to any mantises. I encounter Ubologists fighting mercenaries. Okay, so those are mercenaries. Those are Ubologists. I'm gonna walk over here so I'm out of the line of fire. And I'm gonna watch this play out. And then whoever's left over, I'm gonna loot the bodies. It's tradition. Although I want to get my people out of the way because if they get dinged, then they'll probably get going and engage in combat, so... ah, oh, bad person died. Well, the Ubologists are a bit weird too, so... Oh, crap. Cassidy, you're in the way. There you go. Good job. a weird sound that the that auto knife thingy made oh uh, look at that the poor people oh well I better do my part for the environment and clean up the the stuff we go. Do they have anything to say to me? No, I don't want to gaze upon your, upon your project. Hi, Myron. Got any money? Ooh, you got money again. Yay! That's not why I stopped by here. I'm doing something for science. It might be a failure, it might not be. I do not know yet. I do not have it in my inventory. Crap. I don't think they'll count that one. Could try theft. Oh. Oh. Oh, that'll work. Thank 
you. That was lovely. Oh, you got one now, too. How much are you asking for yours? 5,200. Nice doing business with you. Crap, I got rid of all this, the uh, laser pistols. Oh, well. Alright, here. Need you to wait here. Oh, wait. I need you to come back. I have to check your inventory. Oh my god, I got one! Yes! Okay, now I have to go in here. I'll take two of those. I think I put, uh, what did I put on you? Oh, you have my extra ammo. Good to know. Oh, my extra fuel and and ammo. What you be me? Just checking. I don't think I give you food because you end up eating it. What about you? What's up? You got huh. Okay, let's check over here. No, I appear to be good. I thought I had more than that. Alright, come here, Goris. I need you to wait for a minute. That's it for now. I'm Myron. So, you finally came. Alright. Yeah, what? Yeah, what's on your mind? Hey, you can't get enough, huh? What do you- Sorry, we just ain't got what I need to whip up a stem. Let's see. Yeah, you'll need some sander root, some rock flour, and an empty hypo. Hey, you can't get enough, huh? Well, how about stay out of trouble? Give me two! There, that's it. No more of that shit, alright? Watch your language! <sighs> yeah, what? Can't you see him think- <laughs> Excuse me. Wait for you here? Oh, are you fucking serious? Stay no, language! Oh, you, you keep me around, I'll do you a favor. Huh? Well, what do you say? Okay, okay, I'll... Bye, Myron. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure, but... You know I'm only using you for your stim packs. I guess I could eat some fruit. So I didn't I didn't end up really needing to go all the way over there because it turns out that Gora said what I was looking for in the first place, but oh well.
It was a fun adventure. Ooh, a caravan pending. Ooh, a caravan, which means there's a caravan map. Uh, I only. Ow! That looked like it hurt. Oh, that guy's got a. Oh, wait. I'm not full health. Okay, so. Scarred Traveler. One, two, three. Bad guys. But it looks like the Caravan Master went down, so. Looting? Somebody fell apart. <gasps> That's naughty language. Did he only have one missile? Ooh, wow doing pretty good damage. Great job, guards, people. I don't think he has any more missiles. Or rockets. He's got no more rockets in his pockets. She's doing really good damage. And I think... Oh, he's out of ammo. Oh, he picked some, some, uh, some, uh, ammo or, or a weapon from his fallen comrade there. Uh-oh, he's got a missile. Ooh, I saw her head fly off. Ew. That's just gross. All right. Hey, what did he pick up? <gasps> he picked up a stim pack. Oh my god, the knight can use the stim pack. That's cheating. Ow, that looked like it hurt. You shouldn't have hit that. Shouldn't have hit Solik. Just saying. Wasn't very nice. All right, time to go shopping. more I can fit my car. It was getting pretty heavy earlier. I'll put one of you in... Uh, hold on to you. I'll just set you in there for now. Oh, I don't need that much. Look at her head. Ew. Wait a sec.
Apparently she doesn't have anything on her head. All right, what's on the ground? Whoa. My. I almost missed him. All right, Mrs. Slice and Dice. Look at that. Lots of presents. What's up? You got the Yes, I have some stuff for you to carry. Oh wait, you guys are all out of ammo. Oh god, I don't want to give him that, because then he might actually start... No, I don't think he'll use the missile launcher. I think I'm okay. Nothing worse than handing one of your party members a missile launcher. Or grenades. Thirty-four percent power. I should probably power that up a bit. Anything in here? Ooh, little death claws. I usually farm them for XP sometimes, but I'm not going to do that right now. Seventy-one percent power. That sounds groovy. Really? Nah. Let's go. I'm here to threaten you. Hey, you already went to a place called EPA. Yes, I have. And then I got copyright striked. Um, what you call it? Then you wasted a trip. I paid Mr. Salvatore. Okay, yeah, I already read that. Um, I'm Mr. Salvatore's representative. You will give me the tribute I asked for. Um, prove. Uh, oh, I thought if I showed him the weapon, then that would be enough. Unless I have to have it in my hand. Let's see. Let's put this back. Okay. Just checking something for science, don't mind me. I love this whole dialogue s section about Arroyo. It drives Renesco bananas. No, 
I still have the laser pistol and it, and it, ah, oh well. Threatening me ain't gonna help. Mr. Salvatore wants his money. I don't have it. He'll be mad, but he'll be mad at you too. Salvatore doesn't like people who let him down. You better figure out something quick. I already have. I'll pay your share for this period. In exchange, you will give me a discount at your store. Hold on now, you Neanderthal. I will not argue with you anymore. My patience is at an end. Those are my terms. All right. And you get a discount. I don't want anything now, but don't worry, I'll be back. Explicit. How's your weekend so far? Oh, yay. It's... It's... What's his name? Mason. Uh, God, it here's the money. Mason nods, seeming... Seems disappointed. Hey. Thought we'd bleed old Renesco of his last dime. Alright then, we'll take it to the boss. Frowns. Go on now. Oh really? Is that what I should do? Blah blah blah. Oh, that does it smartest. <laughs> I get along so well with him. I better not be smart assy this time. All right. Oh wait, before I talk to him, oop. I already I already searched everything. Yes, Mr. Salvatore, I have the tribute you asked me to collect. Uh, you have collected Mr. Salvatore's tribute. You gained 750 experience points. Salvatore nods as you give him the money. You have done well. You have earned 25% of the cut. Thank you, Mr. Salvatore. I have another matter that could use your assistance with. I'm interested in the job, Mr. Salvatore. What do you want me to do? A sensitive transaction will be taking place soon. I'm in need of an extra guard to ensure that the transaction goes smoothly. You will speak to Mason and do as he directs you. What is this transaction? Mason will have the details. Go on. I'll go see him then. Hi, Mason. All white. The boss says you're coming along on a little transaction we're doing. Make sure you come armed. Don't bring no pea shooters. Then come back and talk to me. Hey, Boston. How's your day going so far? What transaction we're doing? If the boss didn't tell you, then you ain't gonna know. You ain't gotta know. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh, sorry about that, Boston. It's uh, the default settings on the Streamlabs cloud bot. But, uh... Yes, I like those symbols. I wish Waterall had some control over the bot, but... He doesn't. That's not very many, though. I think... I don't know if it's... I think... 
I think it's leveled at or capped at eight or something like that for the cloud bot. Just keep in mind, I'm really stupid when it comes to the bot thing. So, blame me. You didn't do anything wrong. Um, because you know I like to spam emotes as well. Yeah, and I can't do that while I'm streaming. It'll take about 15 minutes for my thing to open up. It's here. I'm super excited. What's here? You know, my slippers never arrived. They didn't arrive. Oh, well. Um... Oh, you're a PS for... Oh! So you're going to be able to play again, right? Have you downloaded uh, DC yet? Woo, sweet! So we should be able to see you playing tonight? You're going to join up? Is Warframe tonight? Or is DC tonight? Oh, Warframe's tonight. Oh, you, he, he'll be able to play Warframe with yous. I won't be able to because you guys are playing on console. You wouldn't play on PC. I feel so left out. Um. And don't be telling anyone about what's going on either or I'll make sure you never say anything again oh you got it actually you just got it just in time now you still you can still get the is it yeah you can still get the level skip and all the gifts good timing like just in the nick of time Give me some time to get ready and I'll get back. Make sure you hurry up. We only got 24 hour window before the deal's off. You miss it and I'll make sure you rot in Golgotha. Wait a sec, where did my people go? Oh, until the 31st? But there's time zones. Maybe he's in a different time z uh, didn't it didn't count for the time zone yet. I could be hopeful. Oh, nice. That's good. What, Jibby? How are you for stims? You're good for stims. All right. STO 10th anniversary has a uh, cool ship to get. What's Star Trek? Oh, Star Trek Online. I tried uh, creating an account for that and it wouldn't let me. And then I messaged their support and they didn't even respond. I never even got to try the game and support, uh... Support didn't like me either, so... Oh well. I only really have enough energy to play one MMO anyways.
But there's something for everybody. The most important thing is that we have plenty of things to play and waste our time with. Let's do it! Follow him and the other Salvatores into the desert. Alright, here we go. Enclave stop time. Do you have the cargo we requested? Yes, the chemicals are all here. You can check them if you like. That will not be necessary. You know what will happen if the chemicals do not meet the specifications we requested? Right, of course. And you brought the light bringers? <laughs> light bringers. The laser weapons are in the cargo bay. To ensure your cooperation, we will transmit the arming sequence for them once the chemicals are loaded. Oh, well, all right then. Load her up, boys. No. Uh-oh. We will load the cargo. Oh. All right, of course. Give them room, boys. All right, we're good here. The rest of the guards head back to Reno. We'll meet up with you. Is Captain Kirk in Star Trek Online? I don't like flying games where you have to fly. That flying sequence in... Oh god, what game was it? It was a single player game. There was a single player game where... Most of it was just like, you know, a, a linear shooter game, but then there was this flying sequence that drove me bananas. Now is probably not the best time to be striking up conversation. 150 hit points. Oh, okay. But I don't have a switch either. In two episodes, one sees unconscious, the other... Just his voice on the comms. Oh, at least they included him. I'm, uh... I love re-watching the old, like, the original Star Trek. But you probably might have seen that on my Twitter, because sometimes I'll, uh... I'll post when I'm binge-watching it. And then when I go to visit my mother, and if it's on TV... Because sometimes it's on... There's, like, a whole, like, marathon days on Mondays sometimes... I'll make her watch it, and she like... <laughs> it's funny, because she doesn't like it. But then she's like, oh, well, watch what you like. I'm like, okay. But she likes to complain about that I'm watching it. She's like, oh my god, not another episode. But what if the Tribbles are in it? Glad you finally got back. The boss wants to see you. Oh yeah, now you nice sweet talk me now, Mason. 
Uh, you successfully completed the secret transaction. You gained 1,000 experience points. Sit, no one. You have done all I have asked. I would like you to join the Salvatore family and become one of my made men. Yeah, that's what I meant by the OG series. Original. OG is original. I don't really watch the other Star Treks. I never really got into them. I just, uh, I only liked really the original. Because my dad liked it, and so that's how I got into that. I would be honored, Mr. Salvatore, but I cannot. I have other duties to another family, notably my mother. Oh, there are original series episodes in the game. Oh, cool. That'd be cool. But uh, right now I'm playing... Uh, well, I've been playing DC Universe Online. Like, uh, some of the people here play it. Some of the other people in chat play it. And I've been playing that for nine years. And uh, there's other MMOs that that exists that are great you know but I haven't done it because it's like I can barely keep up with DC and uh, like even with um, Elder Scrolls Online looks great but I just feel like I just don't have the time or the energy to pour myself into that too because then I'm just not enough there's just not enough time or energy um I don't really wait. I gotta reload this. Oh, water oh, I only have a couple of tunes. Um, okay, so, obviously, I complete this, I get a thousand experience points, I join the family, if I don't join the family, he wants to kill me. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on the back burner for now, because I want to do the other family stuff. Okay, so there's the Shark Club, the Desperado, and then there's the uh, back. Where is it called? What's it called? Where's the map? Yeah, there's another spot back here, like a, another family that's back there. But! Let's see. So, I am going to have to call the stream here for today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, whatchamacallit? I will pick this back up next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and, uh... You have a million saves on Mass Effect? That's like my playthrough of Fallout 2 that I'm recording for the other thing. <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later today on uh, Sophie's channel. Um, what you call it? Yeah, I gotta take off. I gotta get some food. I'm feeling lightheaded, so. I'm going to go do that, and I'll continue playing next weekend. So take care, have a great weekend, and have a great week. 
So, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I just spaced out there for a minute. I think it's a food thing. But anyways, it's him, Jane. What? I don't know what that means. I'm slow. Oh. Adam. Adam Jensen? What? I like pretty backgrounds. He's pretty. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you next weekend if you're interested in hanging out with me <laughs> for more Fallout. Okay, take care. Bye-bye!